one day before the competition. And let's open up the shop. I'm on a shopping spree, and I'm not sorry. This potion might be the one for me. What do you think? Ah, yes, this potion. <clears throat> well, you see, uh, let's see. Warming up the terms prime. You know what? I'm gonna get the elevator pitch. Damn, that's gonna take up all. All right, opening act. Take two turns. Hit him with the captivate. Boom. Blitz. Blitz. Close the deal. No refunds. Take care, basic white bitch. That's a nice cauldron. I guess business is good. This one caught my eye, but I need to be convinced. Alright, uh, two turns of this. Uh, do you show you this shield again? Ugh. Anyway, you're gonna give me 4% stress. You wouldn't want to complain to Baptiste now, would you? Alright, opening act, warm up, then we'll press the attack, captivate, blitz, press the attack, another blitz, alright, cool, That all that blitzing is great. Would it be just packing another weapon? God, you're gonna make me work for this. Alright, this is it. Oh, so. Captivate. Build rapport. And boom. Give me my money. Give me my money. Do you ever get used to the smell? I'm here for something very specific. Can it be made to my specifications? No, they cannot. I reject. I guess you're particular too. This one might work for me. I'm not entirely so them yet. Alright, alright. Uh, reduce stress. Nah. So, elevator pitch. I'm gonna take the risk here. And I'm gonna take that confidence boost. So it's gonna be one turn of confidence. But one turn's all I fucking need. I'm gonna take three here. But I have so much draw in my deck. I know this turn is gonna pop off. Let's go. Fuck. I thought this was gonna be the pop off turn. I had so much draw in my deck. Why? I had so much draw. It was so draw. Oh, he gave me the one card fewer. I know I was gonna hit it. Okay, I didn't hit it. But I could have hit it. That's all that matters. I could have hit it. That's all that matters. Sleight of hand. Boom. 803. Nice. More money for me. Step right up, step right up. It's gonna be a great day, don't you think? Friendly entertainer, I have a request. Stamina. I made one stamina potion and it was horrible. No. I won't hold it against you. I can feel the magic come off of this one. Oh, yeah. You definitely can feel the magic come off of that one. What is this? Increased stress. Alright. So let's start with the elevator pitch. Pressure. Alright. Build rapport. Guard. Guard. Uh, it'll give me two stress at the beginning of my turn. Is that 
worth it for potentially 13 more? Yeah, it is. It's worth it for 13 more stress. Why not? A little bit more stress. Alright, I can captivate you. Eyes on the prize. Captivate. And then we hit him with the blitz. It's gonna give me so much stress. It's not worth it. That's not worth it. Let's end it here. Pocket money. Come back soon. $2,500. Alright. Now, with the bruise in hand, the bottle of bruise. Sweet. Bottle up these. Sweet. And bottle up these. Sweeter. All right. I need to go buy, buy, buy some Bissolite. Yep. Boom. Ah, and the beat. Boom. Good, good, good. This is one of the ones I really wanted this count for. I got a coupon here just for you. Yes, the coupon. Yes, coupon. You're a hero in my book. You're adorable. Now, how about brewing a fresh pot? I just noticed an uneven shelf in the ward baseboard. And you know me. I can't stand highly by when there are improvements to be made. Thank you for fixing my shop. Thank you for giving me a coupon. And thank you for being a friend. It didn't give me much of a discount, but it actually helped. It's not much of a discount, but cool. Two extra aging barrel slots? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's probably a fucking spoiler for the next week where I have to age my potions, but aging barrels. Okay. Perfect. Everything is necessary. Hammer time. All right, Zid, Zid, how are you, buddy? A gift for you. You like feathers? Feathers are okay. You won't refuse. Oh, I can rank you up, though. That's great. As long as I have... I can't do any more time shit. Okay, because I have to pick up those potions. If you think about it, you and I... We're both in the business of pleasing other people. And if my audience, my customers, find comfort in the familiar, I can't fault it. Cotton Market Street isn't just a place to drop a new single. We give people a familiar course they can hum along with, and they'll be more receptive to whatever else you have to say. Chorus, raise interest by five for each time this card has been played during the current interaction. Oh. Okay. Hey, you're back. Uh, you like feathers? Oh, they like feathers. Okay. Nope, can't do the rank up. Give me a large treasure chest, though. Worthless. <gasps> the spider bait diamond. Oh. That's what I needed. The spider bait diamond. Oh. Are a treat. Alright, anyway. Malachite or ooh. Small thinking. Alright, and now there's a bunch of shit on sale, right? <laughs> done with this week I had to really break this week I streamed twice this week really need to break that up alright arrange potions alright 
my big potions out of here. Put these potions back up here, though. Uh, Alright, so... Because I need these with me. Let's okay. so end the day. Take down the stress. I'm psyched for tomorrow's competition. I really like my odds. And I like the confidence. He <laughs> fucking dive bombed over. I was hoping I'd find you here. Where else were you gonna find me, dude? This rivalry odds can't go on for much longer. Island's not big enough for the support the both us both. I got a solution to that. Why don't you back down? Can't say I see that happening. This island's barely just come back from one ecological disaster, then you and your ilk, the business folk put profit above all else. You all come here by the dozens and start grabbing up whatever you can get your hands on. Land can't sustain it, and I won't stand for it. That's why I'm trying to show you all another way. A better way. Better how? Aren't you the one who prides yourself on picking whole areas clean the resources? I don't take more than the land can spare. I never take anything without giving something back. I can give as well as take two. So if you come for me tomorrow, be ready for a fight. Survival of the fittest, eh? Wouldn't have it any other way. Good for you telling them off. Yeah, but I gotta wonder. What if he has a point? I mean, when I heard this business from my uncle, I also heard his way of doing things. But Oswald lured me into the clutches of being of a pigless soul binding debt collector. Maybe his way of doing things wasn't entirely ethical. Well, uh, listen, I'm sure your uncle would want to do many things differently. But moral dilemmas and recriminations can wait. Tomorrow, your entire focus must be on one thing and one thing only. Winning. Shit. Show confidence. Only panic on the inside. Hey, I made $24 today. Like... <sighs> Like, I don't have, like, the big days where, oh, I got a lot of money. It's like, I got it, I spend it, and then I make it back. It's another beautiful day here in the rough, though. We're told there's a 0% chance of rain. The chance of Winged Crystal Carnivore attack is slightly higher. So let's move things along. <laughs> Uh, you know me by now. I'm Baptiste, Master of Guild, Tinder Bar, and your host for today's epic contest. On the field below, two fine merchants have taken their place, but only one can be crowned our champion. Who will it be? Our challenger has walked the breath of the wild and lived to tell the tale. He's daring, he's dashing, and he knows firsthand the importance of quality ingredients. Give your warmest Raftian welcome to Corsa! So many people. He's up against our reigning champ. She's a doer, a brewer, and an entrepreneur. So make some noise for Sylvia. Hey, Corsac. You look a little green. Your mom is a manatee? Nah, you look a little green. Around the gills. You wanna call it a day? Don't I have gills, but now I wish I did. Dang, that guy's ice cold. Our judge needs no introduction, but he's getting one anyway. Idol of millions, inspiration to hills and unveil artisans everywhere. Give it up for Robin. You're too kind, Baptiste. Too kind. It's been said. Now let's get down to business, shall we? Didn't think there'd be so many people. Hi. <clears throat> Doesn't change anything. Hunters keep focused on his prey. Uh, he's shy. Alright, contestants, give us a show. Round one. This tonic was made from the delicate whiskers of the hippopotamus. It was hard to come by. The trick is, you gotta tickle him first. An interesting technique. I value the resulting potion at $215. <laughs> Seems fair. I think you can beat that, Sylvia. Oh, can I beat that? 
no. But we'll try. Wait, that's the one I had. Yeah, that's the one I had. No animals were tickled in creation of this potion. It's definitely an ice sonic. I can tell about the frost. Well, they can caution. They'll be hard selling them sometime, can't they? Oh. Alright. That's fair a place to go, you think? Hmm. Alright, what do I got? That's 15. That's 15 by itself. Uh. And then that'll be 25. Yeah. I'm ready to win you over. <sighs> All right. Start with the... Oh, fuck off, Robin. All right, elevator pitch. Captivate. And... Course. Probably doesn't stop to think of the harm she causes the environment. I mean, I think everything's organic. Sick? You're a sick, sick bastard. Alright. Sympathy. Chorus. You're supposed to be pleased. You're supposed to please yourself with that. And blitz. Should never that KO Compelling arguments all around, but this round goes to Sylvia. Bitch, you he try to stress me out so much right there. Got this in the bed. But 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 dang. This conversation is the best platform I got to make my message heard. So I'm going to adapt. Overcome. Time to unleash the beast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Corsac means business, folks. The claws are coming out for round two. Fight. I trust you have another potion prepared, Corsac. Huh. This one is brewed with all natural hobgoblin tears. Interesting. What did you mix them with? Well, I have gotten a few tears of my own mixed in. But I just can't stand to see a hobgoblin lord cry. Sounds salty. I value it at 215. I respect that. Sylvia, what do you have? Oh, I got something for you, you salty bitch. Grand sight enhancer. Fuck you, you piece of shit. No contest. This should elicit some tears from Korzak. As a sight enhancer, it does meet the minimum requirements. Exceeds them even. Well, it's obvious who came out ahead, isn't it? He's like, wait, 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 wait. I, what? <laughs> Congratulations, Sylvia. You are the winner. I knew I had it. Korzak's comeuppance. I'm guessing he's going to become a shopkeeper where I can get some ethically sourced materials. I see it now. I was the prey all along. I, I think he's going to come back in the next week. But $40,000. Yes. Money. All oh, the money is mine. For 10 seconds. <sighs> I should have seen that coming, I suppose. Life in the wilderness prepares a man for many things. Running a business might not be one of them. Hey, there's no need to give up completely, is there? Maybe it's the winner's rush talking about me. Starting to enjoy our rivalry. Honestly? I'm not so sure potion making is my calling. Only wanted to show the world there was a better way of doing things. Show them that success doesn't have to come from the expense of nature. But I always plan to take a step back after today. And use my winnings to fund a new series of expeditions. The more I spend here, the more I want to be out there. A 
if it's expeditions you want, there might be a way to make that happen. The heroes gonna need people that can handle themselves out in the wilderness. Based on what I've seen, they'd be looking to have you. Well, isn't that a thought? Might not be a bad idea. Might be worth talking to Baptiste about. And if you can run that instead of Baptiste, and you can actually not distort the environment, that'll be great. Yeah, don't thank me or anything. Solving problems is just what I do. Solving problems. And winning competitions. Hell yeah. And so it looks like Korzak will be joining the Heroes Guild. Remarkable. Just remarkable. Aw, oh, well, you, you weren't worried, were you? I keep telling you I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you'd prevail, but surprise, but surprise me is your compassion you showed to your competitors. If I were in your shoes, I'm not sure I'd do the same. We're all just people, Owl. We deserve opportunities to make our own way in the world. And besides, having course I can get will mean more access to more resources. That's good for my shop, and it doesn't help that he kind of owes me big time. You're really thinking ahead now. Apply that to your daily negotiations, and you'll be hard to beat. In fact, to show everything you know, let your customers and let them sort it out. Barrage. Raise interest by two for every card. Ooh. Okay. If you get hard to beat, I'm feeling unstoppable. Hmm. <laughs> Careful, Sylvia. Hubris has been a downfall of many a promising witch. <laughs> Dive! <laughs> Although you've certainly made some impressive strides in a short time. <laughs> you think so? I guess being forcibly soul bound to another person's crushing dead is a good source of motivation. Who could have figured? <laughs> if that's the case, then I'm happy to have been of some service to you. <laughs> now I believe you have a deposit to make. I can't bear to watch. My $40,000. No! <laughs> Everything appears to be in order. Dang. That would have bought a lot of ramen. But I'm in the groove now. You have your next payment in 10 days. Count on it. I certainly am. Until then. <sighs> you can come out now. I'm sorry. It's just that woman. I get it. She's intimidating. But don't worry. I can handle her. I'm out. You've been a huge help, Owl. I think otherwise for a minute. I... Thank you. That's... Not... That deadbeat Oswald. I swear it's enough to make me want to learn necromancy. It's like a raisin for the dead just to kill them all over again. Ah. Yes. You have every right to be angry. Of course you do. We'd best turn in tomorrow. The cycle begins anew. At least we're in this together? Hmm. Are we? I'm impressed. I'll admit it. Yep. Gold earned. Gold turned. Easy come, easy go. <sighs> Net zero. Nine days before the next competition. Good morning, Sylvia. Are you ready to continue your march towards glory? Of something that ought to be of help. A new upgrade to your license. With this, you're authorized to brew a whole new range of potions. Thanks for doing that. Paperwork is my mortal enemy. I pride myself on being organized. In fact, I have the details for the next competition right here. <sighs> uh, <sighs> I suppose it was foolhardy. Do you think I can keep this one in mint condition? Alright, uh. This one is 150,000 winnings. Anyway, remember, each new competition comes with a new potion requirement. Potions are getting more advanced, but so too is the reward. I guess I'm gonna get a day off, huh? No rest for the wicked. Or the insolvent. Oh my god! Shmarmy Shark. Hey there, chum. How's business? Well, shush now. That was a rhetorical question. I already know the answer. Business is hard, isn't it? All the upkeep, all the customers, all that math. 
Wouldn't you like to lay those burdens down? What do you say to early retirement and you can just send all your customers my way? Boss Finn will make take care, real good care of you. Oh, I see. You must be my rival in the next competition. Well, sorry, but I'm no quitter. If you want to take a bite out of my business, you're in for a fight. Oh, ho, ho. so the minnows got some teeth. But I'm the big fish in this small pond, and you're an appetizer at best. Funny that you mentioned appetites, because the overwhelming stink of body spray is totally spoiling mine. I'll just excuse myself from your sight then. Of course, that means you won't see me when I come for you. And I will come for you. Well, he's a charmer, isn't he? Forget taking the day off. It means trouncing that guy. I can't wait to get back to work. And... Yeah, that's where I'm going to have to end it today. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button!